Happy Monday, everybody. I am kicking things off with a sale from Japan. This is the Faraday shirt that I found at the Salvation Army in Tokyo. Um, I listed this at $75, and I had a few likes. I sent out offers for $60 with discounted shipping, and it sold. Love this shirt. I was so happy to find this there. My, my barky dog upstairs. You'll hear him barking. Um, this Faithful the Brand dress, I believe this is it. Yes. This was listed for $75. I had real high hopes for this dress. Um, I ended up taking a $40 offer on it on Saturday, which I'm not sad about. I just think I got more excited about this brand than I should have. Or maybe this is just an older style. It's a really cute dress. Sold for $40. bucks. i am not sad. All right. Tina and I were a little ambitious. We took I took a little bit of a break, and I packaged a bunch of stuff without showing you, but I wanted to grab this before it went out. As you know, purging all of my American Girl stuff. This happened to be listed prior to the purge. Um, sold for $175, which was actually really good for this item. A lot of them are selling in the low 120s, but I think I paid 150. So this is a wash. This is what happens sometimes, but one big box out of the house. And yeah, one, one step closer. We're making a space in the basement. <laughs> Love it. And these things are heading out. I have one other item. What are you doing this morning, young man? Rough day, rough day at the office, Lumpy. Um, actually, we already packaged them up. I just filmed a haul in here, and this is a Clark's bag. Um, I love when I can use my eBay wrapping paper when it gets shipped through eBay. eBay's having a really strong month. I'm gonna show you my numbers um, because I don't know. I, I have a feeling that within a year, eBay's gonna be Poshmark, which I never thought I would live to, to say that. Anyways, this is a Clark's crossbody bag, leather and suede, really beautiful. Had it listed for $29 and I accepted a $20 offer on eBay heading out. Okay, I wanna show you my sales on eBay. I'm in the wrong screen here, sorry. And I'm sorry this whole video, you're gonna see like a yellow stripe down my neck. It is from the bruising that is healing from my wisdom tooth, but I noticed while editing it was really pronounced, um, but I'm getting there. I think I'll feel better tomorrow. As I was saying about eBay, uh, these numbers aren't super impressive, but there was a very long time where I strived to just hit a thousand in the entire month on eBay. Um, so it is September 19th and I'm up 14 and a half percent. I'm at a thousand dollars in sales. Um, I've sold 19 items, which isn't a lot. I was away at the beginning of this month, and you'll see that reflected in my Poshmark numbers, especially. Um, so this is where I'm at right now. Average sale price um, is $56.97, up 8.5%. Okay, so let's close this out, and we are going to look at Poshmark. So this is where I'm standing so far this month. I've sold 62 listings. Um, remember, I tried to hit about 150, so I'm way off because it's the 19th and it's 6.30 in the evening, and this has been a no-sales day. This is when I was in Japan. Um, I was just getting back from Japan, and my store was closed, but then when I came back, I kind of rallied with some sales on this day, um, and then this weekend, I was away in Florida, so this has been a weird month for me. Um, and then I've been thrifting a lot less because I'm doing Slow Fashion Friday, so I'm just... I'm not bringing in like new and exciting items to my closet and it's impacting me somewhat, I think. Uh, although last month, like if we look at last month, uh, let's look at all month. Last month was a little bit down. July was a good month. Um, but overall this year, I'm, I'm down from where I was compared to last year. Because if I look at all time, Last year, that was my total on the year, and I'm 11,000 off from that. I should beat last year's numbers. Um, but last year, towards the end of the year, my dad was sick. So the beginning of this year, we lost my dad. So it's it's been a really weird year for me. Um, but I'm just sharing that with you. But let's get back to the Clark bag. This is the bag that sold for $20 on eBay. I accepted a best offer. This is the American Girl doll. I had it for $199. It sold for $175. These I did not mention. These are some 
Doc Martens that I shipped out. See how I have $12.99? These were going, of course, I think they were going to Seattle, Washington. And um, it, they cost $25 to ship. So I do fixed shipping. Um, I was pretty much hoping that these would sell on <laughs> Poshmark so it wouldn't cost so much. But then I think we charged quite a bit. Like $12.99 is a lot for this bag. Um, but I accepted a $20 offer. So I, my buyer, I, I think typically we might do $9.99 on purses or $7.99. Um, so that didn't cost that much to ship. So my shipping kind of um, works out, but that's a little higher than usual. Um, but that is that. And we are going to now shift over to my haul. And then at the end, I'm going to share with you some retail arbitrage um, on Dagny Dover items. Okay, that's all folks. Okay, so this is some rapid fire thrifting um, I started recording at 4.50 and we had to be in Watertown to pick up Jay's desk at 5.30, which I'll talk a little bit about later. This is an Eileen Fisher that just looked very tired. I decided to leave this behind. This is a Roots rain jacket, the Cana Cana Canadian brand. I'm sorry, my mouth is not working. Um, I could not get it to zip. I don't know if the zipper was broken, but it looked kind of interesting to me. I ended up leaving it behind. It would have been about $10, but I couldn't get it to zip. But I was also holding a camera, so that could have had something to do with it. <laughs> I went over to the shoe section because I was pressed for time and it's easy to glance over shoes. Um, I had already found a couple pairs of leggings that I believe um, I will share with you later. I thought these were cool for the holidays, but I'm really trying to hold back on buying heels until I sell through most of the heels I have in stock. Then I found these Hey Dude shoes, which um, I've been wanting to try them out. They're so lightweight. People seem to love them, so I throw those in the cart. They're the leggings that I already picked up. They're in good shape. They're not perfect, but I decide to grab those. And then I find these beautiful Zara loafers that are also in beautiful condition. And then I start leaving the store because I realize it's time to check out and Jay is on his way to meet me. And then I found these beautiful Vince slides. Um, so you're going to see most of these in the hall, but let's get home and see what I got. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am back from thrifting. It has been a few days. I had a really quick session. Um, this is one of my stores close to Boston that used to be my favorite. Um, that still has great stuff and it's actually more organized than ever and the staff is fantastic but the prices have doubled in some cases and I'll go over that kind of quickly when I go through. Um, I really had limited time on this day because Jay and I were going to pick up a desk and it was pouring out that day. So Jay had to walk from the train to this store. I didn't realize he was walking. It all worked out. I had limited time but I did manage to find some stuff. Um, starting with Spanx. I found two pairs of black Spanx. Now I believe their leggings are like $5.99 which hasn't gone up too much but then I found a pair of Lululemon and they put this little yellow tag on the inside. This yellow tag used to mean that it was $20. What it means now or at least this tiny little yellow tag means the price needs to increase by $2. So instead of $5.99 these were $7.99 and they look like the groove. They're an older style, but they're a straight leg. They're a size 10. I might try them on, um, but they look a little like mid rise, um, not on the high rise like that I love, but I'm going to try them on. And if not, I'm going to sell them. Groove pants are making a big comeback because of course, wide leg bell bottoms like flare. Um, are becoming a lot more popular than skinny. Leggings I will still pick up in the skinny form um, and these are not flare and they're not wide so I don't know how these straight ones will do. I'm thinking they'll probably sell for like 30 to 40 dollars because they're a size 10 and because they have the tag in them and they're in really excellent condition. We'll see how those do. The Spanx that I found, I got two different styles. They're both extra large which I love and these were not marked up. This one has like a little extra band and um, again, just pristine condition. And these were just $5.99. So I'm hoping to get between like $38 and $45 for the Spanx, given the size and the condition. I need to look into the style of this one, but this one was right next to them. And these are the Booty Boost. And I will show you some sold comps. I love how 
this band goes in the back. This just looks like, you know, it will make your booty look pretty good. These look much smaller than the other ones. And these have a little, like not a raw hem, but there's not like a seam here. So they look very comfortable, very flattering. I'm sure as Spanx usually are, they hold you in in all the right places. Um, I'm not gonna try those on. I have Spanx in like the faux leather and I like them when I get dressed up. But I think for my everyday black yoga pants, I'm usually going, I I honestly go between Lululemons, like a high rise with pockets. I don't even know what they are, I thrifted them. Then I have a pair of Yogalicious that I absolutely love that I got on clearance at TJ Maxx for like $14. They have like a split seam on the side. So they're a little bit of a wide leg and they're very lightweight. And then Everlane makes my like favorite leggings for summer. They're a little bit of a lighter weight, but they are a slight, slight compression. They have one that has like a stronger compression that I don't like as much. They're just not as comfortable. And they're also very cold in the winter. So the Everlanes are nice spring, summer. So I have to start thinking about my fall leggings and winter leggings. I should think about pants that button and zip more than I think about leggings, but I don't. I did grab these Vince slides because I think these are just gorgeous. They're just black leather kind of coming out of season with these, but I think because they're black and I mean, I'm still wearing like my Birkenstocks right now, my um, Arizona Birks. Um, these are really nice. So I guess they are technically like espadrille style because they have that right here. Um, tiny bit of a platform. These were $12.99, but they were just in such great condition. I couldn't pass them by. I'm gonna show you some comps. I saw one pair very similar to this, but the leather was crisscross. This sold for $139. Who knows? Those could have sold in a bundle for a lot less. That was really high. Um, and then I saw these um, sell for like $35. So I am hoping for like 40 to 50 since I paid $12.99 for these, um, but they're really nice and I don't mind holding on to them. Vince leather is just so soft. I actually love picking up Vince shoes. Next up are these Zara loafers. Sorry, it's so dark and gloomy out and I feel like I'm overexposed with my lights here. These, again, excellent condition. I am really, really drawn towards things that don't require a lot of work these days because we are just in fast forward motion, like trying to get so many things listed from death piles from Slow Fashion Friday. And I just don't have time for a lot of flaws unless it's a really great brand. So Zara is like middle of the road bread and butter brand. They are absolutely beautiful. They are size 38. Oh, and the Vince, I believe are the same. I think these are a size eight. I tried them on and they were a little tight for me. These are a 38 in absolutely gorgeous, flawless, condition. I do not see, I mean, it, you can see on the bottom that they actually have been worn a couple times, but like as far as the suede, I feel like suede is prone to staining and these are gorgeous. And the last thing that I picked up may end up staying in my house. I've never found Hey Dude and I've heard so much about Hey Dude and I don't know that if I've never found them or I've just never picked them up because maybe someplace had them marked up super super lightweight hey dude would be a great brand for the bins because they are so light you'd probably pay like a buck 50 for these um, i'm actually going to see if my husband wants them he never wears any sort of slip-on shoe but i'll throw some comps up here anyways they're good for like 30 dollars um but these did have two little stains i don't know if you can see in the light i wanted to experiment with these because they looked like they were my husband's size although i didn't actually look and see I can't see what the size is right now. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. But they look like something I might be able to throw in the wash, maybe stain treat. So I wanted to experiment with them. Their shoes have gone up. They used to be $4.99. I think their shoes are now $8 and boots are 10. Like literally their boots doubled in price. Jeans, $10. They used to be $6.99 or $7.99. So prices have gone up so much. Sweaters used to be $5. Sweatshirts were $4.99. Everything's gone up. This is a 100% donation place, so it's not consignment. Um, but, but again, prices have gone up everywhere, so what I'm doing is I'm being more selective about what I pick up. So I wanna try these Hey Dudes. If they don't fit Jay, I'm gonna try to stain treat them. And if not, I'm just gonna sell them out as is. And what I'll do is I'll probably spray them, put them in the wash, and then take them out and air dry them before I list them. So only one, two, th so three pairs of shoes, three pairs of pants. So if everything sells for around $35 to $45, we're talking about 
210 to like $300 in sales on those items. Not bad for about an hour's worth of sourcing and I'm happy that I'm only taking things into the house that I know are going to sell. So these are all what I would consider bread and butter brands. So nothing off the charts, um, but consistent. So, okay. So I realized that I deleted about five to 10 minutes of footage from Saturday pulling sales. And I was really bummed about it. So I went to edit my video and I had like 11 minutes of footage. And I said, Lori Tata does not do 11 minute videos. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I thought of something I wanted to share with you. So this is a retail arbitrage haul slash, I'm not selling all of it. So some of these are gifts, but I am an affiliate with Dagny Dover. And on my second channel, Time with Tata, I did a review of their backpack, which I really love. I get affiliate credit from people who make a purchase. So if you use my affiliate link, you get a $20 credit and I get a $20 credit to use at a later time. The catch is as an affiliate, you max out at $50 per transaction. So even if I have $600 in credit, I can only use $50 at a time. And so I was kind of bummed about that. Like when I had my affiliate link with Rothy's, it was just a $10 credit or $20 credit that would build up and build up. And then when I was ready to get a pair of shoes, I think I was able to get like one pair of shoes based on um, the, the credits that I have, but you can use it all at once. At Dagny Dover, you can only use $50 per transaction, which I th is, is a bummer, but it is what it is. Well, they had a summer sale and some of their items were 60% off. And I was thrilled because there had been things that I really wanted to get that I had enough credit technically to get with my affiliate stuff, but I wasn't able to, well, I was able to, I wasn't willing to make the purchase because their bags are pretty expensive. But they had this incredible summer sale where things were 60% off. So I went ahead and was able to get a lot of stuff that was normally say $150, it would be like $65 and then I'd get a $50 credit. So I would just be paying say $15 plus tax and shipping. Um, the other thing that was lousy about this was that I had to pay shipping each time unless it hit a certain amount because I wasn't spending enough money. But it all worked out because the savings was significant enough to couple with my $50 credit per transaction that I think I ordered 10 different times and I got a bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff I kept for myself, some I'm giving for Christmas presents and some of course I will be reselling. Okay, so first off, I will show you the purchase that kicked all of this off. I did pay full price for this. This is the large Dakota backpack and this is $215 and I did order a kit um, where I got like a, a little tech bag that went with it. And you could, you, there's a little bit of savings when you buy it together. As many of you know, I was really into luxury handbags. I still have an affinity for my Louis Vuitton collection and some of my pieces that I've gotten through the years. Um, but when my dad got sick, I was going back and forth to Boston, to Dana-Farber, to Brigham and Women's, and I just needed something practical. I was journaling a lot, I was editing videos on the go, and I was in Boston several days a week. So I decided to buy a backpack. And I wanted something that was sturdy, um, but comfortable for a lot of back and forth commuting. And this is what I went with. And it proved to be fantastic. It's this like squishy material. What's, it's like a scuba material. And it's really nice. I loved this color. I believe this is called Dune. So this is what kicked it off. And then I did an extensive review of this on my other channel. And then I got credits from that. So this is what started it all. Pay full price for that. But I was always eyeing this canvas bag. With my journaling adventures, I feel like I walk around my house with notebooks and pens and journals all day long. It gets to be a little bulky. So I wanted to get a canvas bag that wasn't too huge, but I tend to like big bags. 
Um, so I ended up getting during this 60% off sale, this is the small Vita organic cotton tote. So this typically retails for $155. There's also a larger one that retails for $175, which I will show you. I believe this was $65 during the sale. And I also think there might be a few threads out of place. I wouldn't call them seconds, but I, but I think they were. Mine looked perfect, so I did not notice anything wrong. But this is the small Vita Organic Cotton Tote in black, and I love this. So I have you know, like my Hobonichi planner right here. And I also keep my little ink swatch notebook in here for my fountain pens. This is all the stuff I talk about on my other channel. Um, but this is the notebook that I use for ink swatching. And then one of my little planners in here. And this fits in really nicely. And one of these from Pockets. These are also great for diaper totes. They're great to bring to the beach. I love that this one isn't too deep because my notebooks aren't that big. So if you take like my Louis Vuitton planner, for example, this fits in here really nicely. I'm sorry, I had my wisdom tooth extracted almost a week ago and I'm still struggling with it. Like my gums are still sore and I'm still healing, but I'm doing much better. I'm going tomorrow to have the stitches out, but I feel like I'm still getting a little tongue tied when I talk. Anyways, this bag is like chef's kiss. I love it so much. But because there were so many great sales happening, I ordered the large, I ordered the small, and then there was another one, a similar canvas one that was taller but narrow. This is the one that I landed on and that I absolutely love. I also bought one for Angelina that I'm giving to her for Christmas. And I also gave one to Rocco's girlfriend as like a back to school gift. So out of pocket with my $50 credit, like this cost about $25. They are having a 25% off sale right now. This Vita bag, instead of being 155, it's 119. And of course you'll get um, first quality because I, I guess mine was a second, but I would never know. Also, I don't know if this is like a vegan leather on the bottom, bottom, but it's like really sturdy, which I thought was important for canvas bags because they, they can get a little beat up. They also have it in like a natural color, which I'm gonna show you. Um, I can't say enough about this bag. The small is plenty big for me and it's perfect for what I love. And I also love that it's big enough that I can throw like my, um, belt bag from Lululemon right in here with like a little ID and be on the go. So if I wanna throw this in the car, that's great too. And I forgot to mention this, it's got tons of pockets on the inside. I don't know if you can see right here, the neoprene, that's the word I was looking for. That's the fabric of the backpack. This is a little removable, it has a snap on the back, neoprene cup holder, which is awesome. Like I find myself not only throwing um, like a water bottle in here if I have it, but absorbs the water. You know, your bottle sweats a little bit, but I'll throw my keys in here. I can throw any little things, it's like a little catch-all cup that snaps in here. One of my other favorite things about Dagny Dover is a lot of their things comes with come with this thick strap um, for your keys so you don't lose your keys because it's black, you know, it can kind of get lost in there. But there's internal pockets, there's external pockets. It does not have a zip though, that should be noted. So those are the two things that I absolutely love and adore. But then there were some things that were a little too big, a little too small, that was like my Goldilocks bag, it was just right. This is the one I'm gifting to Angelina for Christmas. They also come with these awesome um, camo, uh, laundry bags or like dust bags, but you can use these for a lot. I've like thrifted these before, before I knew that they were just um, like a gift with the purchase of a bag. So this is one that I will be selling. And like I said, the retail on this is $175. It's on sale right now for I think 150. This is the Canvas Vita Organic in large size and also in the white, which oh, you see it in images and it looks so beautiful. Of course, they have someone with like cut fresh flowers hanging out of the side on a picnic blanket, like, and it looks so picturesque. I would have this so filthy so quickly. But for people who are cleaner and neater than me, they might really enjoy this bag. So I will probably list this for about a hundred and 40 maybe, I mean, it's new with tags. I'm not really getting into this too much because it's white and I just wanna leave the, the protective wrap on it. 
So when we ship it, it's all ready to go. And I actually saved all the boxes. So when they sell, I'm just gonna ship them out. I wasn't sure what I was gonna keep and what I was gonna use. Uh, this bag was fantastic. I wanna say these were on sale for $50. This is that neoprene material. Again, I actually found this very bag in navy blue. I believe it was the very same size, but it did not have the strap. And this is called, what is this? This I believe is the extra small Landon bag. So they have this that's like larger, like duffel bag size. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave some of the packaging on here because it's new. This retails for $125. This was $50. So basically all I paid was shipping. So these out of pocket for me, again, I had to do these as all separate transaction transactions was like $12 for shipping basically in tax. So I bought one for Tina and I gifted one to Tina like in an army green. Oh, hold on, my phone is ringing. Hi, Ange. Hi, Mama, how are you? Okay, it's been about an hour. I had back-to-back -back calls from Angelina and Anthony. Now, now I'm back with you. So this is the Dagny Dover Landon Neoprene Carryall. This is the extra small. It has a really sturdy cross body um, strap. So I have this now currently in the navy blue, which I am certain I am selling. And then I also have it in the army green, which I may keep or give as a Christmas gift. Because like I said, these cost like 12 bucks with, with the, you know, they, they were like 50, which the normal price is 125 this is what it is on their site right now um so i think shared in my stories on instagram when this sale was happening even without the 50 dollar credit they were 60 percent off the normal price which is really good yeah so i got those two which i will be selling and then the last item that i got was similar to the two canvas ones this one is also canvas but it is a taller format really really tall like it's black i can show you from here but same concept but um compared to this one you can see how much taller this style is right here this i'm selling because it's just too too big um, but i was really curious to see the three side by side the small that i have then the large okay, this is called the pacific tote this one is on sale from 175 to 139 but i believe this was one of the 75 dollar ones at the time of the sale and um, then i had the 50 dollars off so this costs about 30 dollars my cost so i will be selling this one as well I just want to talk a little bit about retail arbitrage because sometimes you can do some thrifty shopping right from your own home. You don't have to be out at the thrift stores. Granted, this was a unique experience because I had the affiliate credits. There have definitely been times though that I've found some really good deals like on the Madewell website, on Good American. Some have proven to be better investments than others. You have to be careful with retail arbitrage really really important to run comps before you go ahead and buy multiples of anything but one of the pros of finding even if you find one good item retail arbitrage it could be on target.com it could be on amazon you never really know but if you find one SKU, one item that you can make a decent amount of profit this was the mentality for amazon sellers you don't think in terms of what your profit is on one item. Well, you do, but you, you try to think big picture. So on Amazon, if you could make like $5 profit on something, but then you could buy 100 units, now you're making like $500 profit on those units. So they kind of went by like, what's, what's the overall amount you can make? $5 really isn't like a big enough profit for me or wasn't at the time. And I ended up storing multiples of things and I just didn't like that. But sometimes you can find things that are smaller. An example that I wish I had bought more of were these Yeti baseball hats that I picked up at um, TJ Maxx. I want to say they were like $3. I could be wrong, but it was really inexpensive. It was like one of the yellow tag sales. And I think I picked up like three or five of them and they all sold for like $25. Another thing that I picked up at that, that warehouse that I went to on my way home from New York um, where I got these leopard free people hats. Again, they were like three to five dollars. I wish I had bought a 
ton of those because those all sold around that $20, $25 range. And we're talking like baseball hats that can stack on each other and take up like this much room in my inventory. You do one listing, they're new with tags, so you're not worried about disclosing flaws or whatever, and then it's like boom, boom, boom. It's like you take one set of pictures, you do a multi-quantity listing, and off they go. So there's definitely some value in buying uh, multi-quantity things and doing your homework. You can always shop online, run the comps, and see if things will work out for you in that respect. So I just wanted to bring a little something different to today's video in addition to shipping and doing a little thrifting. That's all for today's video. I I will see you on Friday with another episode of Slow Fashion Friday. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me in the future. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you real soon. Bye.